was here that we place ourselves most at the house's mercy. It's basement, Mason. We're churning out of When a house is both hungry and awake, every room becomes a mouse. <laughs> This combobulation is probably the coolest Roblox game I've ever played. It's super slow paced and very philosophical, so if you're looking for some ADHD edits, this is not the video for you. Sit back, relax, grab a snack, and get ready to be discombobulated. Oh, and as always, make sure to like the video, comment for the algorithm, subscribe, and I hope you enjoy this as much as I did. This game is a recreation of Anatomy by Kitty Horror Show. Flashing images and strong horror themes. So if you have epilepsy, I guess don't watch this. Left click to interact and shift to run. I don't like that I have to run from things. Whoa, 2005, that's before I was born. Wait, what did I just say? Hello, I'm 20, <laughs> that's after I was born. <laughs> Yo, I'm actually discombobulated already. Am I in the game? Whoa, I'm in the game. I can barely see anything. It's locked. What the hell? I don't know what this game is. Um, what is good, my regurgitators? Welcome to a game I saw on, on Roblox that I just randomly opened because I thought it looked interesting. Someone ate that furniture. Okay, can I leave? No, every door is locked. And literally every door is locked. Okay, do I have to click the doorknob or something? No. I know some games are like that for some reason. Whoa, hi. Play. In the psychology of the modern civilized human being, it is difficult to overstate the significance of the house. Since as early as the Neolithic era, humankind has defined itself by its buildings. Buildings for worship, buildings for socializing, buildings for protection, even buildings for the commemoration of the dead. Kind of interested, Loki. Of all the structures that mankind has invented for itself, there is little doubt that the house is that which it relies upon most completely for its continued survival. There's a tape in the dining room. Where's the dining room? Not that way. Um, is this like a house-based horror game? I'm so confused. Whoa! The door actually opened. Okay. Hi. Is there anything else in here? I did not expect those doors to open, I'm not gonna lie. So that scared me when it did. Alright, another tape. What, what more can you tell me about houses? The house is one of the key elements that separates modern humanity from its more primitive antecedents. I've never seen that word. No other creature goes to such lengths to create lasting, permanent shelter for itself, nor regards such shelters with such reverence and import. Why do human beings of our modern age foster this tremendous sympathy toward their homes? There are many reasons, of course, but perhaps it is due in some small part to seeing them as a reflection of ourselves. There's a tape in the downstairs bathroom. Okay, I'm glad it tells me where to go. What's this way? I don't like that I can't see anything. Oh, this is back here. Are more doors unlocked now? How do I get downstairs? This is, oh, I'm already downstairs. You know what? Should have should have understood that. Is that a wooden sink? Why would you do that? Another tape. The anatomy of the house is such that this analogy is less superficial than at first it may seem. I'm waiting for the house to start attacking me. Further, if we were to dissect the house as we might a human cadaver, we would find ourselves able to isolate and describe its various appendages and their functions in a decidedly anatomical fashion. There is even a fair number of direct comparisons to be drawn between those organs of a house and those of a human body. Brother, where are the white blood cells? There's a tape in the garage. Where the hell is the garage? This is the garage. It is. I knew it. I'm smart. What else is in here? No car. Is there nothing else? Washing machine and a washing machine. Or actually, no, those look like dryers, to be honest. For example, let us examine the living room. Out in the dominant space of a house's ground level, as well as typically the center of activity in a well-populated home, the living room is very much the heart of the house. While a human heart circulates blood to oxygenate the body's extremities, the living room circulates people, activity, communication. It is the room most likely to be found beating, 
as active and vivacious as its name would imply. The comparison is only strengthened when we consider also that the living room is most commonly the room to contain the fireplace, making it additionally a locus of actual physical heat. Hmm. There's a tape in the living room. I know how to get there. I'm low-key, like, interested in this. Like, I'm... This is actually just cool. <laughs> I'm not scared at all, but I'm interested in what this guy has to say. He's spitting facts, low-key. It is easy to think of the kitchen and dining room as the stomach or digestive system of a house, though this comparison is tenuous. By contrast, the function and analog of a bathroom should be immediately obvious. The hallways and corridors of a house are its veins, providing circulation coursing throughout its frame. A staircase bears more than a passing resemblance, both physically and symbolically, to a spine. The windows of a house serve much the same purpose as eyes, and anyone who has ever rounded a bend or a long drive and come suddenly face to face with a tall, dark manor will tell you that it is difficult to shake the impression that the house, through its lightless windows, is a creature capable of vision and intelligence. There is a tape on the stairs. Is this going to end in the house attacking me? With its white blood cells? Okay, that just wasn't there before. Can I go upstairs? I can. I don't really want to, to be honest. I'm, I'm having a jolly time down here. I'm great. I'm having a good time. The bedroom is perhaps the room that most eludes direct comparison in this fashion. At a stretch, and allowing for a bit of poetic sympathy, it might be said that the bedroom is not unlike the human mind, or those parts of it which dictate thought and imagination. In the bedroom, dreams are dreamt, passions are ignited, epiphanies are experienced in cold sweat at early hours. In the bedroom is where people invariably spend the majority of their time, though comparatively little of it whilst conscious. There is a tape in a bedroom. Okay, I'm assuming that means it's upstairs. Damn, bro, who builds a house like this? I'm waiting to get jump scared. I still don't understand why I can run. And yet, this analogy is an incomplete one, for obviously the mind is an exceedingly complex thing. If the bedroom represents the thinking, dreaming part of the brain, then it is the basement that represents those lower, unconscious parts. Uh oh. The basement is dark. It is buried. It is a place full of cobwebs where memories are stored. What's in the basement? A poignant comparison, truly. Often the unnerving uncertainty that comes with considering the deeper aspects of the human psyche is not unlike gazing down at the swimming blackness pooled at the bottom of a basement stairwell. It is a place we spend our childhoods filling with monsters that will lay for years in patient silence. Uh -oh. It is a place that, barring some specific errand, we seldom ever want to go. What was that? Do not. Oh no. Dude, that was actually really cool. It said bar barring any s specific errand, and then it fucking gives me an errand. Okay. It also told me there was monsters. Ugh. I don't like this. Okay. Nothing. Why are the walls so wet? Oh Jesus, this place is huge. I really can't see. I'm just gonna hug the wall. If you jump scare me, I'm... Why is it... Nope, I don't like this. How do I get back? I'm gonna hug the wall again. Okay, we made it. We're back. Close that. Close the door. Of course, this comparison, though appropriate, is a very heavy-handed one. And often the basement is little more than a storage space, littered with the corpses of spiders and wood lice. While poets and psychoanalysts no doubt dread the thought of a dark basement, in truth, it is the bedroom, the waking mind. That place of dreams, which is actually the most frightening of all. There's a tape in the master bedroom. Dude, don't do this to me, man. Why is it red in here? Oh, this place is huge! What? Who has a bedroom this size? Okay. What is- Why are you in here? Oh. I'm locked in. Oh, there's no more door. It is here, in the bedroom, that we are at almost vulnerable. 
Each night we shut our senses to the world for hours at a time, trusting in the house to keep us safe until next we wake. In this state of extreme vulnerability, we will spend something like 20% of our lives. Anything might stand beside us, watch us, keep us company until dawn, and we would never perceive it. We can only pray that the house will not let such things carry on as we sleep. In this way, during these hours, the bedroom seems less like a mind and more like a mouse. For it is here that the house is most likely to betray us. It is here that we place ourselves most at the house of mercy like and spend each night hoping that it will not bite down. That was really good. This game is slow. Well, I like it. I do that. It was pretty tense at the end. Well, here we are again. This is the same house. Okay. Is the tape player in the same spot? Yes, it is. Oh, it sounds weird. In the psychology of the modern civilized human being, it is difficult to overstate the significance of the house. Since its early as the monastic era, humankind has defined the area of earth. Why is it? But of all the structures that mankind has invented for itself, there is little doubt that the house is that which it relies upon most completely for its continued survival. There is a tape in the dining room. Okay, I feel like this is getting a little distorted. Yeah, okay. <laughs> you know, just a little bit of a distortion filter. Why do human beings of our modern age foster this tremendous sympathy, 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 sympathy? Yo, it was kind of beat at the end there. There's a tape in the downstairs bathroom. Sure, there. What the hell is going on in here? Okay. Bathroom a little funky. I can't tell this on purpose. Um. You are right there? There is a... Doors are unlocked. What does that mean? Why would you tell that to me? Why would you let me know? I don't like this. Dude, especially because the game said there was a flashing lights warning at the beginning. Something's gonna attack me. Oh, I don't know what that door is. It's a closet. Okay, nice. Good. Great. Nice. What does it want me to do? Let me in the bedroom. Hi. What is going on in there? I've never been in this room. Whoa. Hi. Something's happening to this house and I'm not here for it. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not having a good time. Oh, a tape player. What? Is this a prayer? I heard an amen at the end. Oh god. Jump scare. Rah! No. No jump scare? Huh, oh, a tape. What the hell is going on? Okay. Jesus. Dude, this is weird. That's just not a... This is some shit you would hear in FNAF Pizza Sim, bro. Please mark the results on the paper. There's a tape in the living room. Back to your regularly scheduled program. Jump scare? Dude, come, just hit me with a jump scare, man. Hit me with something. Give me something to, like, latch onto. So I know I'm sane. I don't want to get digested. Let me out. Whoa. Bro. Chill out, man. Oh, Jesus Christ, man. I don't like this. That jump scared me really bad. Okay, um, go in here. Hello. Yeah, that's, um, not supposed to be happening, I don't think. In a, in a normal house, you know, things wouldn't just be floating. Last time I checked. That's loud. 
the bedroom. Don't, 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 don't. I dream that there are teeth that are all over me. Everywhere on me and in me, like cysts or bone spurs. They're loose, but I can't remove them because I have no hands. I look out through the bedroom window and I see a truck approaching. A young man steps out, approaches, and enters through the front door. Like my His door? His body is covered in swollen ticks the size of corners. He's walking through the downstairs hallway and laughing. What? He begins urinating on the wall. He spits on the carpet. Is this something happening now? He's moving through the first floor, breaking and upsetting things. He goes to the basement and stands at the top of the stairs. Okay, now we're good. I'm angry at him, so I slam the door and he falls down. I can feel his bones snapping. The texts are bursting, losing all black blood everywhere. Ew. I can feel them being ground up, dissolved and torn, splitting and shredding. I leave the door closed. I close my eyes and try to sleep. The teeth continue growing on me until there is nothing left of me but teeth. The basement is dark. I know. Why? What? Dude, this game is really good and I hate it. Whoa! Jesus Christ, okay. <laughs> oh, part three. Whoa. Boy. That one, that one, that one got me. Oh. You are very discombobulated. Where am I? Come again? I'm in the upstairs bedroom. I don't like the fleshy sinew. That is connected through the walls. Ugh. What is going on? <gasps> what are you? Can I play this? Oh my god. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. What's in here? Just a giant wind- Okay, everything's having a jolly good time in this room. You know, I would go in there, but- Ooh, oh, that's a lot of- That's a- That's a mouth? I think? Oh boy. Yeah, okay. That's nice. What's in the bathroom though? Just someone having a great time. A jolly good time. Okay. Can I go to the basement? No. There's no escape. There's no door. Okay. There's a chair on the wall. Ah! Okay. You want me to explore again, don't you? Yeah. Alright. Fun. <laughs> Hurts. I remember the order somewhat. That's a noise. Okay. Don't mind me. Just having a jolly good time. Oh, yeah, we just forgot to make the bathroom when we made the bathroom. You know how it is, just... Things things happen, you know? Things get in the way. Oh, that's a tape. Alright, I'm just gonna leave you guys up here. Have a good time up there. Don't mind me. Just, uh, listen to my radio. Alright. Uh, living room next, right? I think. Yep. Yo, I'm so glad I'm not playing this at night time. Oh my god, I'd be actually genuinely scared. More so than I am already. Whoa. What? Why? I don't want to go in the basement. I don't... 
I don't want to go in the basement. Oh boy. Hi. Mr. Flesh Colored Walls. It's like the left side now. Ooh! There is an important distinction that must be drawn between the words deception and vivisection. A distinction that would appear to be lost on you. Your purpose was to listen. What did I do? And at every turn you have pride, you have prodded, and you have interfered. Have you not been paying attention? Did it not occur to you that as an organism existing within a greater organism, your intrusion would be felt? Oh no. Teeth. still you harass. And now, like the wayward spider who witlessly stumbles mm. upon a sleeper's tongue, you will be swallowed. Because the truth is this. When a house is both hungry and awake, every room becomes a mouth. Dude. Part four? There's more? I was about to- I was about to be like, yo, that was the greatest game on Roblox, bro. What the- How's there more? You never came back. Oh, dude, this is good. Where am I? Come again? Alright. Yeah, we're just, you know. What? That's it. That was part four. Okay. Hi. What happens to a house when it is left alone? When it becomes worn and aged? When its paint peels and its foundations begin to sink? When it goes for too long unlived in? What does it think of? What does it dream? How does it regard those creatures who built it? Brought it into existence only to abandon it? When its usefulness no longer satisfies them? It may grow lonesome. It may stare for long hours into the darkness of its own empty halls and see shadows. And its heart may jump as it thinks, here, here is someone again, I'm not alone. And each time it is wrong. And the hurt starts over. It may haunt itself, inventing ghosts to walk its floors, making friends with its shadow puppets, laughing and whispering to itself at the end of some quiet cul-de-sac. It may grow angry, its basement may fill with churning acid like an empty stomach, and its gorge may rise as it asks itself through clenched teeth, what did I do wrong? It may grow bitter. It may grow hungry. So hungry and so bitter that its scruples dissolve and its doors unlock themselves. While a house may hunger, it cannot starve. And so, in fever and anger and loneliness, it may simply lie in wait. Doors open. Shades drawn. Hallways empty. Hungry. Dude. I have no words. This is so cool. Dude, I don't even know like how to explain what I just played. That was amazing. That was like, I'm sure not many people are watching at this point, but if you are, you're probably just as enthralled as I am. Um, that was a game called Discombobulation. I went into this not expecting the metaphor of all metaphors. That was so fucking cool. Excuse my language. Um, yeah, I'll leave the link to this down in the description if you want to uh, play it, although you've seen everything there is to see. But if you want to make your friends play it, send them this game. Man, I wish I had someone else here with me to talk to about this. Uh, I guess thank you guys for watching. 
Um, recommend some other psychological horror based games like this because this had me tense. I'm not going to lie. This had me my goosebumps going up, you know, um, I like that kind of stuff just as much as I enjoyed the, the goofy games as much as the next guy.